afternoon you guys or it will be afternoon when you're watching this but I wanted to go back to it's a wrap today because like I said before um, I never really got a chance to look through the store with fresh eyes where I wasn't already um, exhausted from going to other stores I did want to go there um, in the thrift video before this but I just never made it down there like I ended up not going over there because I found so much at the other store so today I am making that my priority and I am going there first so I'm gonna take you guys along with me my thrift list thrift list <laughs> is still the same I am looking for maxi skirts either flowy or fitted statement accessories um, you know things to wear for summer summer tops summer dresses things like that I do have my eye on like a sorry I'm waiting for that to close I have my eye on a few trench coat possibilities like I would love to find a bright colored trench but I did find one online that I think I'm gonna end up going with but if I could find one before I buy the one online that would be even better um, so yeah more colorful trenches I do love a good trench coat you know and I love to have a fun unique color or print so that is on my list um, as well as I know it's not winter yet but I do like to shop for the fall winter season before it happens so I am looking for a really great quality just black wool um, coat but I would like it to have nice large statement lapels nice structured shoulders I basically want it to look like a cashmere blazer but long that's what I'm looking for I would like to find one in tan black and gray those are all basic colors that you would think I have but I actually don't so if I come across those I will definitely pick them up but other than that my focus I'm zeroing in on spring summer that's that's what our aim is so that's what we are doing today so yesterday I was hanging out with my best friend and um, I was giving her all of these things that I had thrifted for her recently because she's more focused on like renovating and doing projects in our house she's not really focused on fashion right now but she has been telling me that she wants to get back into building up her wardrobe but you know she just really hasn't had the time so I even though she hasn't a hundred percent figured out what direction she wants to go in style wise I listen to her talk all the time and I just kind of know so anytime I am out thrifting and I see something that I know will add to her wardrobe in the new direction that I know she's going to end up going, I pick it up for her. Not only that, she was, um, like I said, working on her house and I came across this painting in the thrift store and I just knew she would love it. And so I ended up picking that up for her. I'll go ahead and insert a picture of it right here. There was also a belt in my last video that was turquoise that I got. Um, I ended up getting that for her. And then there was this crochet knit top that was colorful and beaded and beautiful. Something she would totally wear. So I ended up giving that to her too. So those are the things that I gave her yesterday. But we were out running errands. We were at Ikea. We were supposed to go to more than Ikea, but that's where we ended up going. And um, we were sitting at the like little eating area, just having like a little snack. Cause you know, Ikea is like a amusement park for adults they have snacks and ice cream and drinks and things to buy <laughs> so we were doing that and there was this little girl that kept coming up to our table um she was trying to interact with our daughters I had my youngest Azriel with me and she had her youngest Layla with her and the girl you could tell the girl just wanted to talk to them and it was super sweet so I she you know turned around and was like oh yeah you know she's super cute yeah she could come and you know talk to them because you could tell the girl just she was like alone she wanted to talk to somebody and then the grandmother ended up coming over and telling us about how she literally was the only girl of all of her siblings she didn't really get to play with girls that much and then later on we found out she was actually homeschooled so she hasn't you know really been able to interact with a lot of kids her age and so I could see that desire in her and that's why she really wanted to play with our girls so um, 
the grandmother came over and she was telling us about, you know, her daughter. And then eventually her daughter came up and was like apologizing for her mom. We were like, oh, don't apologize. Like her mom was super sweet. I could also tell her mom was a little bit um, sensitive, like spiritually sensitive. Um, and so she was talking to us, the daughter, the mom ended up going back to the table. And she was talking about how she felt like she just was so tired all the time and she did not have um, an idea of who she was anymore. Like she was like, I don't even know who I am anymore and I'm just still trying to figure out me and she didn't really have a lot of friends and you know, she you could just tell that she was craving that human to human connection with people who she felt like understood her. And it's interesting because I remember seeing on TikTok a, not a, a meme, but like it was a girl telling a story where she was saying that one of the things that shocked her about coming to America for the first time is that you could spend like a whole night, a whole day or hours with the person and then see them the next day and they act like they don't even know you. And I have to say that I have been guilty of this before and it's not for the reason that most people think honestly the reason is is sometimes I might spend some time talking to somebody it might even be just an hour talking to somebody or whatever and I see them out and in my mind I think to myself oh they probably don't remember me so I don't want to like you know go say hi and they're like oh who are you you know and so I'll just not speak and it's interesting because that very same person could be looking at me thinking oh I recognize her and they're thinking the same thing and we both recognize each other because we had a conversation, but we both don't want to say anything because we think the other person isn't going to remember us. And we go through that like a lot. We go through that a lot in life. That's what I'm trying to say. We go through life a lot like that, where we both have pretty much the same idea as other people, but it's like nobody wants to be the first to say it. And I know for me, I tend to walk around or I used to be very... Uh, conscious of walking around with like a spiritual bubble around me I've explained this before if you've seen that video with me and my best friend when we were thrifting a bunch of thrift stores and we were talking about the bubble that I have but I literally used to walk around with the bubble all the time where I just blocked out all spiritual energy all of everybody's energy around me because I just didn't want to interact or deal I just I was pres preserving my energy for myself and I just was going through a point where I just did not have the, I would say, I would say patience, honestly, or the energy to give to other people. And so I would walk around and just completely block it out. And I know because I had that bubble, it was felt energetically by the people around me, even if they didn't realize what they were feeling. Um, I never used to get approached when I was out. Like, I never used to have anybody come up to, me, to talk to me or anything like that. Like, it was, you know, I was targeted, focused. I never had that. But when I realized that walking around with that spiritual bubble was also handicapping me from being able to receive in and see what other people needed from me, um, I realized that it wasn't, a, it wasn't a good thing. Like, it was handicapping me to a lot of things that are part of my gift that I just could not feel because I I was blocking it all out. You know, when you put up a bubble, not only are you blocking out um, other people's energy, but you're also blocking your energy from going out too. And for some people that might be a good thing because if you don't have good energy, you don't want to go around spreading that. But at the same time, for me, it was like, <sighs> I used to be able to, to kind of like pick and choose what I felt from other people, but still, because I had it up so strong, I I was still missing things. And there would be people around me who I could really do something to make their day better. And I could really do something to add to their day or their life or just touch them in some way. But I was blind to it because I wasn't open. So every single, every single time since <laughs> I have learn to just not walk around with that I get approached so much and normally my best friend is like that because she is like open she's an open book she's always open she gets approached a lot when we are out people love to talk to her they love to interact with her and they just like spill their life stories to her that's just who she is um hold on I need to check my navigation 
Okay, I had to see where I was going. Um, but yeah, so my best friend is like that, where people will spill their life stories to her, and I'm used to that with her. And when I was more closed off, I would just be sitting there like, oh, come on, you gotta talk to everybody, let's go. Like, that was my attitude. And our other best friend is still kind of like that too. She's like, if I don't know you, I don't wanna talk to you, I don't wanna interact with you, I don't wanna give you the time of day. And I used to very much be like that, you guys. And no, I don't know if it's hard to tell, but I very much used to be like that. Because I've just naturally been cautious of people, like, through, I would say, through just my trauma of dealing with other people and, and dealing with people who did not have the best intentions. So it just made me naturally a lot more cautious. So anyways, it was just so interesting to me how this woman just came up to us and, like, we knew more about her in like that 10 minutes than I know about a lot of people that I just casually say hi to. Um, and it was just what she really needed, you could tell. And I'm just so happy that we could give that to her. Now I did get a little bit uncomfortable because in my Frank village, cause she was like, oh, do you guys live out here? And I'm really like, you know, weird about telling people where I live or I don't just give out my number to random people people that I don't know like that's just you know I can engage have a conversation with you but going beyond that I still get very uncomfortable my friend felt it immediately she's like oh do you have an Instagram and just ended up following her on Instagram and then we were just you know we were out but just so interesting that I know a lot of people are probably struggling and going through things and they just need somebody to talk to they need that companionship so I'm still working on it I'm still working on trying to be that person for people but I do encourage you do I need to get off of this exit hold on <laughs> I wish I could film and have my navigation on the screen so I could still see it because y'all know I film from my phone um but yeah I just encourage you we all need something it's something I'm still working on too but if you just can go throughout your day being kind and open to people and just giving a smile here or there or have a good day you look beautiful um just any of that energy throughout the day could really do something to change a person's day change a person's life you never know what that person might be going through what they might be on the brink of what they might be struggling with it is so important to show people kindness it's so important to just be human and i think that we get so caught up in our own problems and our own day-to-day -day that we forget to be human we forget to just engage and be kind and just be in the moment and be open and so it's definitely something that I'm working on and maybe you guys could just work on it with me you know we all can be better you know what I'm saying so anyways that just kind of like touched my heart a little bit I do hope she finds who she is and you know I hope that if you are one of those people who are struggling to find who you are who you're just trying to get back into the swing of things, back into the swing of life. Just know you're not alone. We all go through it. We all lose ourselves, but the more time you focus on going within, the more time you spread love and kindness. I don't know. I feel like two miles. Take exit 149 onto Hollywood Way. Yes. We got the direction. I do feel like the more you go through life giving to other people, even if you need something, like in some of the times where I've struggled the most and I've chosen to not think about my own struggles but think about the person in front of me, it just always works out that you get exactly what you need when you choose to not think about yourself and think about others instead. That thing that you're looking for, you will find. It will find you if you choose to be selfless and love and focus on the next person. That would be my advice if that is you, you know? So... That's it for my TED Talk. I am almost to our destination. Hopefully we find some good thrift goodies today. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll pick you guys back up when um, we get there. I am going to try to simultaneously film uh, thrift with me, kind of like TikTok. And I'm going to have that go live today. So if you do have a TikTok, follow me on TikTok. You'll get a little sneak peek. I'm not going to put everything. The full video will be up though. And so yeah, that's what I'm working on. I love you guys for listening to my TED Talk. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, we are on Lima Street and Magnolia. I want to show you guys this street because there are just so many antique shops lining 
the streets, so many different places to shop. So if you're coming out here to visit, what I would do is come over to here if you wanna hit a bunch of stores in one day, park, and then just go up and down the street because there's so many shops, I'm gonna show you. I really like the way that this street was set up because there were just so many shops right next to each other. You could park and get out and just walk. And if you look further down, you will see the Goodwill that I went to the last time that I filmed over here. But there were so many antique shops, vintage shops, Goodwills, so many options to choose from. So if you're looking to go down to a particular area and be able to thrift in more than one store, then this would definitely be the area you want to come in. The last time I came here, I completely bypassed all of the clothing that was on the outside. So this time around, I really wanted to take a look, but I was terribly dressed for this because I had on a dress and it was really windy this day and my dress kept blowing up and my booty cheeks, I'm sure, were flapping in the wind. I mean, I was trying to be extra cautious. So I didn't really take the time that I would typically take to look through everything because I was trying to hide out between the racks so that my dress wouldn't blow up. As for the clothing that was outside, like I said, I didn't look through every single thing, but it seemed to be just generally a lot of, I would consider maybe like the basics if you could find something that was in your size. There was no designer out here or anything like terribly amazing. I did really love these pants, but it had a lot of damage to it. So overall, you could probably bypass what's outside, but maybe just like look if you have the time. So since I wasn't finding anything, I did go on to the store. I did want to take a picture of the sign so that you could see everything was literally on sale i came across this and it reminded me of the new versace design so i was very tempted to get it but i ended up passing on it because it was not on my list of things it definitely was not for spring or summer but um i did continue to look through this first rack this was the rack that was literally right in the front of the store and look a free britney she's free now so i thought that was pretty funny it was probably somebody who was in the like parades and not parades um uh, the like uh protests and things outside of her court appointments so i thought that was like really funny but yeah they had some really cute like satin and silk tops up here a lot of stuff was like extra small and small up here so i didn't find a lot of things that i really liked but what i did notice about this store is they tried as best as they can to keep everything separated by size or by like brand whether it was premium or not and then again i just never could get over all of the things and memorabilia that's on the walls so i thought that was really cool and wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek i came across this top it was 400 dollars um like regular price but with a discount i wanted to say it was going to be like 100 i just wasn't quite sure that it was worth it for me because i wasn't dying over it so i did pass on that and then as you can see they had some other things a lot of these things set like abc assets because it was like the stuff from set and then i came across these kenzo cargos i thought these would be really cool with the discount these would have only been like 46 dollars, so i did grab them to try on and then i saw this this is a size two so definitely not my size but it was purple label ralph lauren these are typically like over like 1290 dollars. so i thought that was a decent price for it i also came across this brandon maxwell suit i wish this was in my size because definitely that would have been so tempting they had a lot of high-end designers in this store and a lot of suit sets but while some things i felt like were priced really well other things were priced pretty high so yeah that's one thing i didn't notice there was no like um continuity i guess you could say on like the pricing and what was priced what so i saw these these were some vintage guest jeans i really loved these i wanted to go ahead and try these on because i like the little triangle guests and they just had this look and this cut that i felt like they were going to fit really well I did go through the dresses hoping to find some really good summer ones, but I didn't really find anything that I felt was worth getting, at least down in this area. So after looking through the dresses, I did go over to the trousers because I was hoping to find maybe some fun colors or something that would be great for the summer. After going through all of them, I didn't really see anything that was calling out to me. So after this, I just kind of moved on to the next section. only just now noticing that the cone heads were up top that is so cool that was like one of my favorite movies growing up but i will say this store is deceptively 
huge and you can't really tell from the outside but it's like two stories lots of different rooms so much inventory this is definitely a store to come to just to have a look around if not just to look on the walls and look at all the memorabilia but they had a lot for men i would say if you're a guy and you're looking for clothing this would be a great place to come because the selection for men is like next to none so i went through because i was hoping to find like a wool coat like you know the colors that are on my list i did see this one but it was like so large that i just knew this was going to be beyond oversized on me so I didn't even try it but it was a great price considering it would be like $46 and it was cashmere I believe so yeah I never did really find what I was looking for jacket wise but I did come across this I thought this was super cool the color but although the blazer looked like it would fit the bottoms looked like they would be too small and therefore would not make getting the set for the blazer worth it they also had a decent belt selection so I went over here because again my goal was focusing on things for summer so I was trying to find really cool statement belts for summer and I came across a few this one was actually really cool too but it wasn't in my size but it was a great quality leather and then I came across another one that was like more of like a boho type of belt which you guys will see in a second but overall I would say that the belt selection could have been better they didn't have a ton as far as like quality leather belts but they did have like a good selection of belts in general this one actually kind of reminded me of like Gucci but it wasn't and then um which belt is it I think I have a belt coming up that i'm gonna show you yep it's this one right here this one was the one that was very tempting for me because it was very unique and then this is just a view for me standing on the second level so you could see how gigantic the store actually is and then upstairs it had like a lot more like high-end designer and this was a top that i actually considered i did try this on because I just wanted to see if it would fit. I did like how unique it was, but also at the same time, I wasn't really sure where I would wear it to. So I did want to try it on just in case. And then this dress was just so interesting to look at. So I had to show you. And then now we're trying on. So these are some linen shorts that I wanted to try on. I just didn't really like the way that they fit, to be honest. So I didn't get these. I also didn't like the quality or the fit of these Kenzo cargos, so I did end up leaving these behind, but I am glad I tried them on because I did almost get them without trying them on. And then next were the guest jeans, which I was obsessed with the way that these fit me. I love them so much, so I definitely had to take these home. I thought this skirt could be really cute for the summer with a crop top, but it wasn't very flattering from the side and it was too long, so I did end up having to pass on it, but I loved the print. And then I tried on this Ghani jumpsuit but it was also not fitting very well the crotch was too long and the legs were too long so it would have required too much alterations and then this dress was really cute and I was very tempted to get this I even tried it on with the belt to see how it would look and I loved it but then I remembered I had something in my closet already too similar so I decided to pass on this as well I had to show you guys these shorts because they were very much giving Miu Miu's new collection. They even had a matching blazer. And this section in the front by the register more or less had like a lot of really, really high-end designer things. So if you came into the store, that's where you would find these things. I didn't end up getting anything over here though. All right, I am out of there. All I got was the, the guest jeans <sighs> because I really love those. Everything else wasn't something that I felt like I couldn't live without. So I didn't get those things. But I think I am about to go to another thrift store. So let me see. There's another one down the street I think I wanna go to. I don't know how long I've been in this spot, but I'm gonna go ahead and take my chances and go over there. So this place was simply called Antique Store. It didn't really have a name, so I'll definitely make sure when I'm doing my thrift guide to leave the address. But this, I could tell immediately the store was going to be great for accessories. That bag was super cute and unique. It just wasn't really um, something that goes with my style of clothing that I already wear, so I did leave that behind. I could also tell that this place would be really good for trinkets, like for your surfaces or tabletops, if that's something you're looking for. They did have clothing, but not like a large selection, so I didn't really 
really focus in on that. I was more looking for statement accessories like bags, belts, necklaces, and things like that. There were a few belts that I got out of this store that were absolutely amazing. And one thing I did notice is that they had a lot of things that if you were doing like festival or Coachella or something like that, this would definitely be the type of store to get some accessories to take your outfit to the next level. I did come across a few beaded bags that were absolutely amazing, which you're gonna see one of them coming up here. It's like a mosaic style bag. This one, absolutely gorgeous. There was another beaded one after this that i thought was also really good but i don't wear bags like this so i had to leave it behind even though i was tempted and then this next one was absolutely amazing overall a great store for accessories okay you guys so i just finished up in that antique store i had stopped filming in there for a little bit because when i went in there the energy was weird and the woman seemed like she was giving me an attitude and i was like oh this is like ugh, i don't know i was tempted to walk out but I had that conversation with you guys earlier about being a little bit more open. So I was like, you know what, let me just see. Maybe she's having a bad day. So I asked her how she was. She said her day wasn't that great. I said, I hope it gets better. She started showing me some of the items that I was looking at and then she seemed to get a little bit more open. And so by the time I got up to the front, she was really nice and she was like, you could tell I was a little off my game, huh? I'm like, yeah, I was like, it's okay though. You probably weren't having a good day. And she was like, well, we just had a bunch of people come in here and they were shoplifting while other people were shopping. And she said she noticed that um, they were just getting things and trying to like, you know, drop it and have somebody else come and pick it up and walk out the store. So she had her associate go and lock the front door so that they would have to be um, let out by being by her going and unlocking the door and she said so they all started to kind of like leave one by one because they knew she knew what was going on and she said when she saw me in there filming because some of them were like taking pictures and doing weird things that she was just like a little put off she thought I might have been with them but I was like no she was like you know what I'm so sorry and she was like she gave me a discount on everything that I bought and her whole entire attitude turned around and I told her what I was doing that I was doing a thrift guide to LA and just everything and she was just so sweet about it but if I would have just gotten put off and just walked out the store um, because I didn't like her attitude she probably would have thought that I was with the other people who were actually trying to shoplift and that would have been that you know what I'm saying so I'm just really happy that I stayed and talked to her and let her just kind of like see who I am to calm her down and just, you know, make her day a little bit better. And there is the off chance that I could have been discriminated against. You never know in these types of situations. But at the same time, even if I was at the end of the day, she saw who I was and that's what's important. And I think that leaving an impression on somebody that's positive is the best thing we can do. So that turned into a much more pleasant experience and then i'm going to show you what i got because there were some really cool things that she had in there and let me see what is her i don't really know the name of the store i'm going to see when i drive by but she gave me a really good deal on this belt right here like look at that oh my gosh like the buckle everything this is amazing I'm so happy about that. And then I got this belt, which um, it says it was made in Italy. And it says that it's, a, maybe the brand is Silvani. This was a really good deal too. This was 30, but she gave it to me, I think I wanna say for like 20 or something like that. Um, but this is amazing. It fits so well. And this actually happens to match the other thing that I got, which she also gave me a discount on which is this right here. I just thought this would be a great summer bag. If you guys remember, I have a silver version of this and it has like a little hoops uh, right here. You can definitely hold this just like a clutch, but I have like some silver, not silver, I'm sorry, a gold chain that I can attach to this and kind of like wear it like a shoulder bag. And this is the perfect thing, you know, for like summer. These are the kind of things that I'm talking about as far as accessories go. So um, the thing with this one is it, it did have a little bit of the chain detaching right here, but she discounted it for me because she knew I was gonna try to glue it and get it to stay. So I'll probably do that when I get home or just leave it as is. It's not too bad. I just don't want it to get caught on something and rip. So I'm gonna try to see how I can do that. I could probably hot glue gun that. <sighs> yeah, this is like super cute. So those are the three hold on those are the three items that i got with the jeans from it's a wrap so that is my little thrift trip today i don't need to go anywhere else i've spent enough 
So we're gonna start heading back home and I am so thirsty. I think I might try to find a Starbucks again, even though I already stopped to maybe get like a refresher or something like that. My hair is a mess, like <sighs> so crazy because I'm so hot. But yeah, that is it for today's thrift video. I didn't really get that much, but yeah, I definitely think I'm gonna recommend coming to this area in my thrift guide. I'm gonna go more into detail about different stores and what's good for what when you're coming down here so stay tuned we are still working i have one more area that i would like to hit up before i actually sit down and film that video so i love you guys so much thank you for watching and i will see you in my next one bye